Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we are testing every single mask on Amazon. Very excited to see a recent explosion of KF94 masks on Amazon, and I bought the <laughs> out of them. <laughs> I'm already swearing I'm one minute into the video. I haven't even put a mask in the clamper, and I'm already excited. So looking at the uh, Hack Plus QN Chung, not saying that right, probably, but um, disinfection mask. How does that work? Uh, I think that's probably a translation issue, but look at how huge this box is. Oh my gosh, was, did, I, did I buy a computer or is this a, a, a bunch of masks? So these, are, these masks are all from South Korea um, and I haven't watched the Squid Game, so I don't have anything to say about that. Red light. Um, but uh, dude, South Koreans know packaging. Pa look at this. Individually packaged, every single one, and then you get a giant box. Like you could be, you'd be going to the state fair, handing out masks left and right. Six minutes in, and I haven't even put a mask in the clamper. I don't even know what to do with this box. It's so huge. I don't. I'm not used to. I'm not used to boxes this big. Yeah, we'll just leave that one alone. Look at that. Now this is a KF94, as I mentioned before, it's a, a South Korean standard, which uh, the South Korean standard typically, I've had a couple that uh, did not really pass the standard, or, or, but for the most part, there's just not a lot of counterfeits with um, the KF94. And I'll, and I'll talk about why I think that is in just a second. Um, but I wanna look at the mask first. Uh, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. What that means is, um, we're using NAC, we're doing the, the N95 test, uh, which is the American standard. Um, and I'm not super familiar with the, the South Korean standard, but I do know that the 94 stands for 94%. So if this gets 94 or better, that's a good test. It shows you like, it's a, you know, I think there's a lot of subjective things. Do you like the way a mask fits? Do you like, uh, does it, do you feel like it seals well? Uh, does it, how does it smell? Uh, those are all gonna be personal things that you need to decide. But, Filtration fabric, this is an objective test that we're doing here. Let's open this up. So I mentioned South Koreans uh, love uh, having great packaging. It, uh, the KF94 uh, is a standard by the Korean Ministry of Food Drug and Drugs. It's basically the Korean FDA. And they are like very serious, like NIOSH uh, with N95 is very serious. And that's why most of the manufacturers are really good. I love the flat design, it's very efficient also fits on your face really well, typically. Uh, so I'm gonna do this first. Oh, wow, that's great, holy cow. I like gave that a good pull. That is not coming off. Of course, then I just made it too big for my face. They also typically sell these in multiple sizes. Oh man, I'm gonna call this smell uh, a bottle of ammonia. Empty bottle. And you know, ammonia like, dissipates pretty well, so it's just barely there. But it's a heavy ammonia smell, which is the second time I've had that from a KF94, which is interesting, but pretty good fit overall. Very soft spun bond. Um, and I think the reason why the KF94 brand is not, um, is not copied a lot, and there's not a lot of uh, uh, fakes out there, is just because it's, it's expensive to make this. Almost all the KF94s come individually packaged. Uh, it's a very specific type of machine that's in South Korea. You cannot have a KF94 officially unless it's made in South Korea. And it's actually like, it's breaking laws in every country to say that something is made uh, in, in the wrong country. So if you're making something in India or China, even the scammers won't lie about the country of origin. That's really hard to fake. And so KF94 is kind of protecting themselves because uh, you would have to make the fake inside of Korea. So I think that's what's protecting them. So let's see if that holds up. That usually holds up for KF94s. And it does so in this case, 99.609. That is freaking great test, 99.609. Remember, KF94 only needs to hit 94%. And this one's blowing that out of the park. I've actually seen a lot of KF94s that are in the, you know, the 95, 96, 97, 99, like that's, that's awesome. This is a great mask. I would definitely recommend this mask. The smell is a little bit weird. Um, I think there are better fitting ones for me personally, but if you were wondering if this is a good mask, I think it is. What was the breathability on it? 178. Okay, so the breathability is a little high. I think I tested the Dr. Puri mask and it was, 
It was a lot closer to 100, great breathability. So that may be a better mask, I don't know, but that mask did smell a lot like burning, which actually I prefer over this smell. <laughs> That's just me. Um, yeah, so I don't know, it's, you know, your mileage may vary. This is gonna be hard. Typically I wanna see under 150 Pascals and this is 178. All right, thank you guys so much uh, for watching. If you end up buying this mask because this video was helpful, give me a like or subscribe if you want to, you know? Or uh, you could always steal my dog and hold him ransom, you know? Send me pictures of him like handcuffed in a bed. It's just nasty. I'll catch you on the next test.